Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over how to reconcile your credit card account in George's Budget for Excel. So currently I'm in the Sample Chase credit card account register, and this is where you enter your credit card transactions, or you could also import them via a CVS file. So this is a brand new account that was opened at the beginning of the year, and nothing's been reconciled yet. You have several purchases here. You have a credit card payment, and then one more purchase. So in the top right here, there's several tools to help you with reconciliation. There's the total outstanding, which for a credit card account means the total items that have not been posted by the credit card company. So there's 10 items there and a total of $1,000. And then there's the register balance of $1,000, which is in this balance column here, the running balance. It's the last item here at the bottom, $1,000. And then the total cleared, which represents the total amounts posted by the credit card company. So to start the reconciliation, you go to the rec column here, and you're gonna put an R next to the amounts that match what the credit card company has posted on the credit card statement or online. And the reason why you wanna do that is this particular transaction here for $200 at Longhorn Steakhouse, you wanna make sure that the credit card company also posted that correct amount and not a different amount, or I've also seen it where they duplicated the amount and they posted it twice. So that's why you wanna verify that those amounts are posted correctly by the credit card company. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put an R right here. Once you do that, it's gonna put a green check mark in this cleared field, meaning that it's been posted by the credit card company. And these amounts up here will adjust. So we went from 10 items outstanding to nine items outstanding. And this particular item has now been marked as cleared, that $200 right there. And then you just go to the next transaction and you do the same thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark several of these as being reconciled. And you can see after doing that in the cleared column here, the green check marks will appear, meaning the items have been reconciled. Up top here, there's just one item outstanding that hasn't been posted and that's this one item here at the bottom. Now there's a great tools up here in the top right. You can click this button right here, filter show outstanding, and it will show that one item that has not been reconciled. And that matches up here also with this one item that has not been reconciled. You can also click this button right here, filter show cleared items, and that's going to show you just a list of transactions that you have marked as reconciled. And here are those list of items that have been marked with an R in the reconcile column and have the green check marks. And over here in the top right, I'm gonna go ahead and click clear all filters and that will go ahead and show you all of the transactions again. So another great feature of the software in this credit card account, you can split transactions. So you can see here that we went to Whole Foods Market and we spent $300. This is known as the main split transaction. And these two items below it are the split item details. So we spent $300 and we broke that into two different spending categories, $250 for groceries and $50 for pet care. So when you do your budgeting and run your reports, that's going to better reflect how you actually spent your money. And the way to identify these split transactions is over in this column here, the split group. This number right here is automatically assigned to the split groups so that you know that they're all part of one transaction. So if you do another split transaction down here, it will automatically be assigned the next number. In this case, that would be number two. So when you reconcile split transactions, all you need to do is put an R in the main split transaction, which is the total purchase amount of $300. So up top here, there's total of items outstanding of one item for $1,000. We can easily see that by scanning this here, the exclamation point. If an item has not been marked as reconciled, it will have an exclamation point. So let's go ahead and reconcile that amount. Let's say that the that amount has been correctly posted to the credit card companies. So now it has a green check mark. I put an R there up top. There's no outstanding items left. Everything has been posted to the credit card account here, which is the total cleared. So now the total cleared balances out to the total register balance, which is the bottom right here. And it's also notated up here. And I also wanted to mention these indicator lights here. The red indicator lights represent negative amounts, and those are purchases. And the green indicator lights represent positive amounts, and those would be credit card payments. And these yellow indicator lights here represent that the amounts are zero.
So those are some great reconciliation tools that help you easily reconcile your credit card account in Georgia's budget for Excel.